It's Carlos Mullane. That's who we fight. Yeah, but shit. I ain't fight the uh, kid of hope. Uh, he could fight hope. Or he could fight that boy. Are you done? That was on uh, HBO. <laughs> Carlos Molina. Yeah, Kareem. There's Bayfield. another fight at 135 going up to 140. Because Khan can't make 35 no more. But that's the weight class he should be in. Khan's whole thing is he's out the game. He's on the outside looking in. The whole game has passed him by. But don't nobody really know what to do with Amir Khan. Because all these people have really surpassed him. And he cannot go to 140. Sure, he feel he can beat Danny Garcia. If he do a hit and run, stand away from Danny, he feel like he can win a decision. But against heavy hitters, the, the deck will have to be stacked in his favor. He's going to need a huge ring. And... Here's what people don't know. Carlos Molina is fast. He's not slow. A lot of people think Carlos Molina is slow. I'm not saying he's faster than Amir Khan, but he do have speed. So he will be able to stay with Khan, and Khan won't be able to overwhelm him like he has been. I, I see him winning a unanimous decision, but I don't see Carlos Molina looking so outclassed by Khan's speed. I think his speed might worry Amir Khan a little bit in this fight. But it's his inexperience in these fights for Molina, I think, might like, cause a problem for him where the moment might be too much for him. And I see Khan winning by unanimous decision. Now, let's go to the Nonito Donier factor. Uh, let's take it from there.